Mm-hmm. Episode number 30, motherfucking Five. fizzle. You heard? 35. Clap it up. Yeah, yeah let's boy. Go. Let's go. Is it just me? It's probably just me. On a I'm, different I'm kind of like a shoe guy. But can you be friends with somebody that wears Skechers? Like a guy. Yeah. Wait, Skechers? Skechers. Well. That's weird. I don't know. I don't. Personally, me, I don't really look at. Like, I do look at people's shoes, but I'm not actively just. Like twinkle toes? I'm not actively just looking at their shoes like, oh, my God, you got like the most trash shoes ever. Like, I do. No. Am I judging I mean, but you're a shoe guy, though. So, but yeah, I mean, you're a shoe I, guy. I, I, it's like me with cars. I mean, you can look like a bum, but you got to swag that shit out, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know some bummy looking motherfuckers that make it work. You know what I'm saying? What if he's like, <laughs> what if he's like, the, what if he's like the dopest person to hang out with, but then he just has sketchers? Like, you're just going to throw that whole, like. Yeah, see, because this guy at work, you know what I'm saying? He was wearing, like, he had an Under Armour shirt on. Shit was clean with some, uh, it was like a blue shirt with some, I mean, it just, it matched, you know what I'm saying? Then he had some like, uh, pants on that was like camo pants. And I was like, all right, cool. I see this kind of put together and shit. And I look down and I see that big ass S on the side of that shit. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, this dude is an active shooter right here. Like, that's certified <laughs> psycho shooter. business right there. <laughs> Just because there's an S on the side, you say shooter? <laughs> <laughs> bro, no. That's serial killer vibes, bro. You wearing fucking Skechers? You're a fucking 30-year-old looking man. FBI, open up! 30-year-old dude. You got like... <laughs> but you don't know what he's going through. Like, what if he's going through money problems and then that's only that's the only thing he could afford? Oh, uh, uh, pfft. Um, to keep his money straight, you know what I'm saying? Dog, the same, you can buy Nikes for the same amount you buy Skechers. You just go to a different store. You just go to like a Ross or something and get you some Nikes out the Ross. <clears throat> yeah. You feel me? Or you go to uh, Shoe Depot. He could have wore some something. Fila's. You know what I'm saying? Some something. Reeboks. You know what I definitely Skechers, hate? my boy. You know what I definitely hate? When I see people walking around, especially if it's at my school, dirty Air Force creased up. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Like, it's like oh, all of a sudden crushed up like this, bro. Oh, my Jesus. At least it, they got Nikes. It hurts on my eyes. It hurts my What about eyes. Vans? What about Vans? Vans is cool. They vans made, were made to be They're made beat to be up. beat up, yeah. They're made just, to be vans are weird I think to me. They're, I don't the, know why. The more, the more the, uh, they're kind of like scuffed up and shit like that, the better. You know what I'm saying? Long as you, as long as you keep like the laces clean. Yeah, that's because mm-hmm. it's white boy swag. It's skater swag, bro. Like that's. The, well, yeah. the original Vans, yes. But these newer Vans, they just weird. All Vans. All together, bro. Like what? Yeah, Van, I Vans. Vans. I, I don't know. I, I don't know shoes like you guys, but Vans. Like I don't know. They're weird. But Skechers are more weird. I'm with you on that. But Skechers are Bro, weird. Skechers is like work shooter, you school shooter. Toes? Nah, nah, nah. Nope. You wouldn't rock twinkle toes. If nah, like the new I'm I'm cool. I mean, <laughs> what if it was like the new product? What if they added twinkle toes to the product? I'm good, bro. You're not going to get me to wear Skechers, ever. Hey, but what about those? Remember those Skechers that came out and they had the big, like, yeah. loop, loopy thing on the bottom <laughs> supposed to make your calves bigger or some yeah, shit yeah. like that? Shape ups. Shape ups. <laughs> um, I think my mom has some of them fucking ugly ass <laughs> shits, bro. I'll be true. I'll be like, bro, do not wear them shits around me. <laughs> she has a pair right now. Yeah, she's retarded with it, bro. I don't know. I, I be trying to tell her. So you can't like, hang out with her? Nope. Wow. She better wear them chucks. <laughs> Leave them fucking sketchers at the crib. Most people who wear those shoes, though, like, usually work out most. Nah, it just stood out to me because everything else was, like, <clears throat> in place. And then you got these busted-ass sketchers on your feet, bro. Maybe it's just, just like, dog, you about to... Uh, boys better t- stay the fuck away from him, bro. Duck and cover, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just try to run him over with the forklift, dog. <laughs> I don't blame I see, him. But I, I, I feel that way about cars, though. Like, if I see somebody with, like, some fucking truck that shouldn't be rusted out, and it looks rusted out, and then they got, like, a big bumper on the front. They don't a have a bumper on the back. They don't have a bumper. <laughs> At all, <laughs> like that. I don't know. Just like it's just weird to me. Yeah, like 
why does your car look like that? Like, it's so many things like the like the creepy vans. I don't like vans. Yeah, and like, then, not the shoes van. I don't like vans. Yeah, and it's like when you see like, like the vans. the car right behind you, it kind of makes you cringe. Like, oh, uh, what is that car? You know, I always want a minivan. Hey, my grandma used to have a minivan, Dodge Caravan. <laughs> I was always trying to get Carmen to get one. You know what I'm saying? She's like, "No, you're not gonna get me to fucking drive a minivan." I'm hey, like, it's, it's like for me, but we keep it at your house type shit. <laughs> <laughs> the new ones are dope. It looks like a, a pilot seat in that motherfucker with all the buttons and shit they got on them now. The ones that I always liked was the fucking big ass vans with the TV in the back. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. in the, the back seat, lay down to a fucking bed. You know what I mean? I'm trying to go road tripping in that hole. You feel me? The shagging wagon. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, our generation shagging wagon. No, like them work truck, them work vans with no windows. Them motherfuckers are creepy. Oh yeah, nah, the raper vans, nah, we can. Yeah, no, nah, uh-uh. I don't like those vans, man. And if I see one driving around, I'm steady watching that thing. Like, man, if I see you trying to pick up somebody or snatch them up, I'm on your ass. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, man. First quick topic of the day: Skittles is being sued. You know what I'm saying for having ingredients in their shit oh, that causes cancer. Oh, oh, okay. Keep going. Oh. What flavors so- is Skittles? They're just different colors, right? They're all the same flavor. You no, know, they're different flavors. Nah, the red what? ones taste like the green ones, and the green ones no, taste like the yellow no, ones. No, do you no, know? Do you no. know? That's do you know the fair. red flavor ones? The red flavor, and uh, I don't know if it's just Skittles, but I've heard it from Skittles that it's a uh, crushed up beetle blood. That's the best like beetle the blood. The blood I've ever from the beetles are the flavor of the Skittles. They probably add stuff, of course, but. That's the flavor. Or it's in the flavor of the red ones. So they killed the beetles. Use the blood yeah. and add some something else. Boom. I don't know about that one. It but is. They're being sued for ingredients in their shit that causes cancer. I don't know. Is the FDA <clears throat> responsible? Should the FDA be held responsible? Because the FDA is the one, the Food and Drug Administration... Is the one that okays this mm-hmm. shit, makes it good. Did you know that the fucking Skittles were, I like, illegal in other countries? For real? Yeah. I've heard that and other things, too. Like, yeah, there's a lot things. of things we have but here so that they... The fucking Skittles is made by another, like, entity or whatever the fuck, and they make all these other snacks, you know what I'm saying? Which is under another umbrella, like, so it's a bunch of shit. Well, I feel like it's a it's a two part thing. So they are kind of to blame for, but you're also to blame for because you can easily stop buying those. How much money do you get paid to okay this shit? You know what I'm saying? Mm, I I'm, could take this down a rabbit hole. I don't know. I mean, if so, if take it. What the fuck? <laughs> Just do it, bro. Do, Just if do it. Gonna, if we're gonna do this with Skittles, <laughs> if we're gonna do this with Skittles, chomp, right? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Let's see how this works out because the next thing we should go after as citizens of our country is Dr. Fauci. Oh. I don't want to say, what do you call it? The world hurt. So Mm. I'm sure that shit wasn't approved by the FDA, but it was put out. Yeah, but that shit was in time of like the emergency time and shit. They didn't have to get it approved. So, like, he can't be held responsible. Yeah, but they're not supposed to be doing that kind of research. They're not supposed to be doing that kind of research. I forgot what it's called when you're trying to transition things that happen to animals to humans. I know, but you got to say, you got to talk in actual sentences, bro. (laughs) Like, you're just jumping all over. No, hold on, because you were saying, like, the the fucking, the the shot was not approved. No, not the shot. So what the fuck are you talking about approved? The world hurt. The the okay, so they're saying like they're gonna sue Skittles because they're they have cancerous things in them that could kill people, and there should have been whatever more research done, yada yada yada, uh, towards Skittles as far as the ingredients, right? So having said that, they should hold Dr. Fauci or whoever the fuck it is uh, accountable as well because the research he was doing was totally illegal, not not the 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 shot, the research he was doing to create the world hurt. Was it him though? And he didn't create the world herp. That shit already existed. Well, the lab that they were fucking doing it is a, a, a sub, citizen, sub, a, another company of another company of another company that he was in charge of. Subsidiary. There you go. I think that's what you say. Invisalign. 
Relax. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> Dial well, up. That's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> so the Google person has Mountain Dew on there. Is Mountain Dew not allowed in other countries too? Yeah. Why not? Uh, there's a bunch of shit, bro. Really? There's what it says. 30 American foods that are banned in other countries. Let's go on <laughs> down the line. Mountain Dew. It's due to do. I was all totally hyped up on that. mountain milk. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> on mountain milk? What the <laughs> hell, brother? Raise your hand if you Oh, drink they don't have milk. it in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Japan, the EU. If you drink water. Wow. Milk and dairy products. Wow, that's crazy. Mac- Macaroni no. and cheese? Y'all would die, bro, if you didn't have mac and cheese. <laughs> and that's the that's the bum ass mac and cheese too. The that's the shell, one that y'all like. The shell ones? Fire. Pre packaged ground beef. beef. The fuck? Where do they do that? Go down. So in Canada and Europe. So European my Europe. question, how do oh, they get beef? Banned. Coffee mate. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Okay. That shit causes cancer, I think. Why the, the fuck? Corners, All right, yeah. these are stupid. Go. Let's go big brand. Chicken. Ch- chicken. Go big brand, big what brand. What the chicken do to you? Keep going, keep going. Or oh, that one I get. You get bread. pork? Nah, fuck you on the bread. Nah, uh-uh. we gotta have bread. Nah, bread is bad, bro. Nah, I love bread. Whoa, frozen dinners. Whoa, I'm whoa, okay whoa! Them. Demons are coming out. <laughs> frozen, you, you got dinner. it, bro. Sugar cane. Keep the bread, bro. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fat free snacks, aspartame. Oh no! Chewing gum. What the fuck? There's no gum in the United Kingdom and Japan. No way. A lot of stuff in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Salmon in New Hold Zealand. Hold on, do you say salmon or salmon? Salmon. 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 Amy says, Amy always says salmon. It's salmon. Fruit Loops. It's the accent. You know. What's wrong up, with Fruit Loops? Trying to fuck up my childhood. Of, uh, All right, we're done with this. Uh, also, well, was it just Hold on, Fruit Loops M&M's? or is it cereal? Oh, M&M's is trash, bro. Stop Whoa, it. what? Yes, it is. Cherries. Your, your trash haircut too. is trash. Oh Shut up, Mimo. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, the fucking, uh, what's called, Sprite also came out and said uh, that they are no longer having green bottles. Um, they're taking that shit away as well. What color are you going to put? They're going to have clear bottles with green labels now instead of uh, the green Did bottle. they say why? Yeah, because it's uh, easier to recycle a clear bottle than it is to... So they're trying to be more environment friendly. Um, so yeah, other brands are following it too, like uh, the Seagrams and uh, Mellow Yellow and you know other shit like that. This, I guess, uh, Coca Cola company. So yeah. yeah. Do you need a mic, my boy? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, like on those recycling things, there's like a number on there. Did you know that? Like they'll have the little arrows in a triangle yeah. and they have a number in the side of it. Yeah. And the higher the number, the harder it is to recycle. Oh, I didn't really? know that till not long ago, but yeah. Sorry, plug I you. didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. I mean, I, I didn't know that till, I don't know, I think when I was working at the cardboard place. Yes. Yeah. Yep, so. Fun fact. <laughs> you know, just, yeah. a, just a little bit. Anyway, let's get into these fucking topics. Those were just some little randos that I. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> some little randos that I came across. Yeah, baby. Mm, uh oh. Right the into the shit. Topic, then, huh? The big the top, top G. G. The top G. <laughs> top G. You know what I'm saying? You want you want to go first? You've been dying to talk you, about this no, shit. You got to do it. Been on his nuts about the this. host. You've been on. You've you been a go. meat writer. Host, yeah. No real talk. You've been a super meat writer. Like the, he, he's been wanting to talk about this shit for like three weeks already. <laughs> All right, let's go, dumb boy. What's up? <laughs> don't get I don't quiet know now. Shit about this, let's go. I don't know shit about this. Let's go. Go. Uh, what the fuck? I said, I dummy boy. He's getting all nervous now. All hey, right, put Andrew Tate. Put in big screen. Andrew Tate been uh, fucking calling out Jake Paul to fight. Uh, Andrew Tate is a online personality. Uh, basically, like, uh, what was what was the dude name? Kevin Samuels. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, a high value man, kind of 
Well, he's uh, more of a. Alpha. Are you gonna fucking let me go, and then you're gonna cut me off? <laughs> I'm adding, let me let me finish describing adding, this fool. I'm adding details. That's what I'm. Oh. Doing. You got it. <laughs> oh <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Anyway, so he's he's uh, they're calling like you know he sees himself high value man all this other shit and he, um you know uh fucking call uh, they're calling him a misogynist all type of shit but he's just like a dude that kind of really speaks up for being a speaks man for being a man you know what I'm saying and uh, yeah speaks his masculinity and shit like that but. Uh yeah he he was a ex kick kickboxer I don't know ex there's a lot of folds that go into Andrew Tate let's just say that pause uh he's self proclaimed tree in there <laughs> I don't know <laughs> go ahead bro help first. me out here bro you know more about him than I do so he apparently is a billionaire trillionaire he said I trillionaire about, I don't know about trillion he said he said world's quite first trillionaire. literally. I don't believe that, but I could believe a billionaire, but he That's supposedly gotcha. owns casinos, nightclubs. Um, he just has a whole bunch of stuff. And like, I don't know his first value viral video, but like, I just know he has like controversial takes that the whole media is like, whoa, 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 whoa. why are you saying that? You know, like he'll talk about how women can't drive or like, um, uh, like basically, just bro. It, it, basically, if anybody could do it, if you because no people guys don't talk like this. Yeah. So he just is coming out like I don't know. This it's it's hard to talk about if you don't know what the fuck you know. Like you, yeah, like I, you don't I've follow seen, this shit or know anything. What, I've what seen TikToks talks of him, and he's like, you know, like uh, one of them said, "Your girl shouldn't be going out on girls' night if she's going out on girls' night." Then I should be getting texts. And when I say it's time to come home, it's time to come home, or something to that effect. I no, know I'm off. He was I know saying I'm off that she should want to be coming back to you, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I knew I was off on the verbiage, but yeah. But you know what I was talking about. I've seen a couple of those, but I ain't heard nothing about this Jake Paul. Who does he want Jake Paul to fight? He wants to fight Jake Paul. Oh yeah. shit! Okay, yeah, he's a kickboxer. He's like fucking. I don't know. Look up his record. He's like twenty eight and like I don't know ten or some crazy shit like that. Yeah, I don't know the record. But um, uh, I just know he. <laughs> I don't know. A short some, career. Some kind of, yeah, he had like a short career. Yeah. Anyways, but so I listened to the podcast with. Uh, and he used to have hair. <laughs> I listened to the podcast with the Nelk Boys, and I, I like really truly agree with a lot of the shit he yeah. says. He's like, just wild. Like. <laughs> I, anyways, I truly agree with a lot of shit that he says. I really do. But I still think you're a salesman, my boy. Snake oil um, salesman. You feel me? Like selling his ass. His cap, bro. I, okay. Like, like I believe that a portion of the shit is real, but you're overselling it. Like, you don't think he owns twelve uh, Lamborghinis, <laughs> three nah. mansions, Bugatti. Bugatti, Bugatti. Yeah, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Anyway, so supposedly how he made his first money, he was down and ba- down bad. You know what I'm saying? He owed like some gangsters some money or some shit, and they were looking for him. They were trying. They were gonna kill him. Jesus. And so he, uh, long story short, he got the idea to um, make a webcam service, like you know, girls doing the webcam shit, and like dudes uh, paying to see them. And talk to them through the webcam and the chat room, shit like that. So, uh, essentially, he was a scammer. He was, like, uh, using the girls to lure these guys to send them money. And he was, like, the the top guy that ever sent the most money was about a million dollars. They got out of that guy. Jeez. So, they would lead them on, lead them on, and say, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to come see you. I need this much money or whatever. Then he would, they would send the money, and then uh, uh, something, this happened. I can't make it. <laughs> then I need this much more money because of the embassy, da 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 Then they send it, and then she still comes up with excuse. They do this shit about five, six times, da 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 Long story short, uh, the guy ends up getting mad, and then and then they come up with the excuse like, well, 
I'm traveling to this fucking unknown country by myself, and now you're getting mad I don't feel safe. So it makes it his fault, and then that's another reason why, like, they don't get to meet up. and You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so they were doing this day after day, like, getting bread out of people, you feel me? Uh, and that's how they started making their first, you know, sizable Man. amount of bread. But he was fucking with, like, supposedly he was fucking with, like, five different girls all over the place, and he got them to come to one place and do this shit together. And supposedly he has like five wives and shit, or like one girl, Damn. one one. Yeah, he has one girlfriend. One girlfriend, and then, he's not married. He has like five girlfriends or whatever the fuck. But, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I don't know. But he he's like he talks very like, bro. I know a bullshitter when I see one. You know what I'm saying? You can't bullshit a bullshitter, and that motherfucker is. You know, he just talks way too well, very well put together. And then you just come out the blue. Nobody really ever heard of you type shit. And, like, I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't heard of him till recently, and it was because of TikTok. I mean, the I'm shit not, he be like, saying into, sound good, though. I mean, yeah, I agree with you. Like, shit he says is like, man, that's, yeah, okay, yeah, that's what's up. Like, okay, yeah. And like you said, I hadn't heard everything, but <clears throat> most of the shit I hear, I'm like, hmm. Okay, most of it I hear. Some of it, I'm like, yeah, okay, that's for you, not for me. <laughs> yeah. but. Bro, I'm telling you, you should listen to that podcast with the Nelk Boys. He, he, they really kind of broke it down like on some average everyday Joe understanding. You feel me? But I think he'll beat the shit out of Jake Paul. Oh no! <laughs> I just want to see Jake Paul get his ass whooped. <laughs> nah, but oh. but but real talk though, and they're the same weight class. They fight at cruiserweight, so they're the same weight class, but. Uh, the the press conference that shit was sell, bro. Because Andrew Tate is like dumb viral right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's he's the most. He said in that podcast. He said he's more googled. He's the most googled man on the face of the earth right now. Crazy within like probably two weeks. Nah, it's been like a few months. He's been popping up for a few, a few months. months. Yeah, for a few months, like two three months now. I've been seeing him, but um, what's it called he um. Uh, he said he was more Googled than Joe Biden and Trump. He said he's the most Googled person in the world. Yeah. I don't know about that. He said he said you I can he it, said bro. you can Google it and find it. So Google it and find it. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what Google person has brought up here. Alec, Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Well there there's the first lie. See? There's the red flag. I'll tell you. That's that's why I'll be like, man, I don't know. He talks very well, bro, but it's like, eh. But I feel like that part is more exaggerated. Like, he's just saying that he's just popping right now. Like, you know, he's right now, like, people are just knowing him, you know, like a lot of people. I think he's just saying that. He's not, like, actually meaning, like, I'm the most searched person in the world or something like that. Anyways, but the fucking, the thing is that he's super popping and he could talk very well. Well, he's from, uh... He's from the United States, but he moved to, uh, damn. Uh, I thought it was Britain uh, or like. He so, why he does he have, so why does he even have a fucking accent? Because he lives over there. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean. I think it's a fake accent. Croatia. He's from Texas. Mm-hmm. Croatia, though. No, it's right there. from Texas. Romania. Just cause. Like Romania. Right Romania, there. yeah, Romania. Yeah. But, um. Mm-hmm. Nah, uh. But yeah, anyway, so I think it would sell very Six well months. because they can both talk shit. They both like are viral kind of guys, you know what I mean? I don't know exactly how the fight would turn out. Jake Paul would probably beat his ass low key, but Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the ju- press in, conference in was go crazy. Boxing fight, but uh Do you know who you messing with? I'm Top G. Top G. I'm Top what G. What colors you be got, bro? <laughs> I own 12 Lamborghinis I own 12 houses I own so many corporations So, so you remember when Dan Brazarian came out Brazarian You, you know who Dan yeah, Brazarian oh, yeah, yeah yeah He was supposed to be like this elite fucking badass dude or whatever right. So so he's kind of like the same Okay Yeah he's kind of like the same Yeah that dude uh, I want to say he said he was a Navy SEAL And he never made it I don't even yeah, think Yeah yeah he never made it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. He, he okay, got like got a fucking uh, medical discharge or some shit and got some money from the military. Yeah, he he definitely wasn't a fucking Navy SEAL or whatever the fuck he proclaimed to be. Anyways, but, but, so, but how do these motherfuckers get money? Just off of scams? 
like I said, that's how he came up. Uh, well, he was the a webcam fighter, thing. Yeah. And then he came up off of scamming on that webcam shit. And he was like, bro, they was getting bank or whatever the fuck. Well, anyways, they parlayed that shit into, like, all the other businesses that they were doing or whatever. And, uh, you know, made it into what it But that fool was, like, super proud. He came up off of scamming and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, for real. But um, uh, he was saying, some, like, a bunch of shit, bro. Like, he was saying, like, uh, in Romania... Bro, it made it made hella sense. Like he, hearing him say it and romanticizing the idea of it made sense. He was like the, he was like, uh, uh, damn, what is it? Organized crime. He said organized crime. He he likes organized crime because unorganized crime is when you know what I'm saying like <clears throat> stupid shit like people going into a school and shooting that hoe up or. You know what I'm saying? Like doing doing drive-bys or fucking whatever the fuck. He was like, with organized crime, you know what I'm saying? Like at least they'll give you like a pass one time and then if you keep fucking up, then they're going to fucking kill you or, you know, do whatever the yeah. fuck. You know what I'm saying? He was like, organized crime like in Romania or whatever, he was like, crime like that doesn't exist. He was like, they were, they were fucking doing the um, – they were doing protesting over here, and then all the stores and shit got looted. Da, 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 da. He was like, they did protesting in Romania, one of the biggest in the world, and no, not one single store got looted. Mm-hmm. You know, because shit, you fuck around and touch somebody's store, and they're in with the mob people, then and they, they fuck around and come take, kill your whole family type shit. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, they keep shit under control. Everything's cool. He was like, they really ain't no, like, you know, there's there's no shit. There's no oh, shit. Oh yeah, here. they don't touch women over like uh they don't uh mess around with the women. They keep them out of uh drama and stuff like that. Like it's just basically man to man stuff, you know, like they don't really kidnap, I guess, them and stuff like that. But yeah. that's what he was saying at least. Yeah, I don't know, but uh he was saying shit about like um uh, the electric vehicles and shit like that. He was like, you know why they everybody they want you to buy electric videos? He was like, it's all part of bringing back slavery. He was like, they want to be able to get to a point where they can just shut your fucking car off if you don't do what they say. You know what I'm saying? Man, I 100% agree with him on that. And then he he got into he got into it pretty deep, bro. Like, yeah, when he that, said that, that I was like, you're talking about? Yeah. I was like, okay, bro, I'm definitely gonna check it yeah, out. Yeah, check it out. A lot of the shit he was saying, I super agree with. He says, he says that um, women should have their body count on their forehead. <laughs> he, was, he, he was like, it would solve a lot of the world's problems if the if <laughs> girls just put their body count on their forehead because it would make them ashamed. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of women use their pussy to get in places. You know what I'm saying? And and then just hide about it. You know what I'm saying? So so what if she ain't fucking? What if she just sucking a lot of dick? Then I, does that go against the body count? count? I don't know. I don't know. Like, does that count? Because then half a body count, <laughs> <laughs> half a point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It might just count as a body count. I'm um, definitely not kissing you. You got five <laughs> circles on your forehead, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> five and three quarters. <laughs> I see thirteen half a points on your shit. <laughs> on your lip. Hey, okay. So crazy part, right? Like. Uh, we talked about it before, like all this crazy technology they're coming out with, like as far as like uh, being able to put chips in your body and track your health and all that. Like, what if that's one of the things they start tracking, like how much sexual intercourse you have? And then they could pair up the two devices like, hold on, this bitch was with this one and this one and this one and this one. And then they make it a service where like, oh, let me type her name in on the how many people have you fucked dot com. And, <laughs> and then, who? <laughs> I swear I don't remember where I heard this or my I just might be making it up in my head, but I swear that it's like illegal to have multiple um sexual partners somewhere in the world. Uh like I don't know if I'm making this shit up. But uh, <laughs> sounds like a thing. That needs to be searched. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that a thing? I think it it's a thing. <laughs> but oh, there is another thing. He he said, and this made sense, bro. Like I I don't know why the fuck it made sense, but he made it make sense. Talk to me. The fucking he said Christianity is a fucking joke. He said Christ. He said the 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 one uh the one religion left that stands tall is uh being a Muslim Islam. He said because that's the only 
religion left that nobody would disrespect because the people of that religion would not allow disrespect. And nobody, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Nobody go ahead. from their country is making fucking like mockeries of Jesus on, on TV and, you know what I'm saying? Dressing them up and doing all type of fucking stupid shit. And you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, you know, uh, taking, taking, um, uh, taking interpretation of the Bible instead of uh, just reading the word and knowing, knowing the word or whatever, like supposedly how they do with the Quran is like, there's no interpretation. Yeah. The word is the word and, and, and either you're going to fucking follow it or you're not, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just how they, they deal with shit over there. Like if you disrespect, if you steal type shit, they, you know what I mean? They'll fucking Five stone your ass to death type shit. So he was like, you know, uh, basically like, the last God that is respected is the real God. So, you know, that's the real no, religion. Is, is he a Muslim? Do you know? No, nah, he's not. He says he reads okay. the Bible. That was the only conflicting part to me, too, because he, he kind of like down Christianity. But then he in the beginning of the fucking episode, he was talking about how he uh, reads the Bible and he like God fearing man type shit. Yeah, but yeah. so so my so it's crazy you brought that up because recently, you know, I've had conversations with this guy at work who is a Muslim and I've asked him. Who's lamb? You know. Oh, and uh, I've asked him who who's right, man. Who do you think's right? And he looked at me. He said, uh, "Exactly what I've said before is, I hope we're all right. I hope we're all right because nobody knows who's right. But that guy and what you're saying, I I agree with. Like, and I've said this. Like, the only faith out there, I you can't say the only because we don't hear a lot about." like Hindu or any of those other religions, as much as you hear about Christianity and Muslims. Um, but Christianity is definitely more washed, more downplayed, made fun of more. It's, there's a lot. I mean, I could, I don't like that. So I don't like that. So I'm going to go with this. You right. Know what I'm right. Exactly. And then, and yeah. then the, the Pope coming out and being like, you can, you can be gay now. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If if that's the word, then how the fuck can the Pope just change the word? You know what I'm you saying? You can't. You're not supposed to. Right. And so, and so you got it. You Bible, got an official top level, top G, top G, of, top. <laughs> of, of the Catholic faith. You know what I'm saying? Changing the word. So you can't. Yeah. You're not. And so, and that was another thing that uh, I was having a conversation with uh, another guy that there's the Bible is slowly changing, slowly changing over the years. Uh, I'd love to take a Bible that was written in the say fifties and sixties and go buy a Bible at the store now and put them side by side and read them word for word. And I promise you little words here and there yeah, are changing. And that's there's how videos, you change. There's videos of that shit all the time. People put out. Oh, see, yeah. see, I mean, I didn't know that. I swear, but I don't send I'm them to you, anybody because, or I do send them to some people, but I don't send them to you because I don't, feel like you would take that no uh, I, I feel inter- this way interested in it. because I, 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 I recently came across this just because you know when i started watching a lot of this stuff about aliens i was like damn i wonder if this bible talks about it so i actually bought a bible and kind of flipping through it and reading it and then i know one day like i was it was just it wasn't making sense to me and i said you know what i know jojo got a kid's bible let me read it from a kid's perspective and in the verbiage in those two are totally different. Like it's it's saying something different in those two in, the, in, in in those two Bibles. So that made me start thinking, like, well, if this Bible's different, then I wonder if it's different from that Bible that was written 20, 40, 50 years ago. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to change it at all. No, you know? no, and the and and I have to say, like, the Quran, as far should as should be know, illegal. Yeah, it's the Lord's words, not the people's words. So right. <laughs> like, if you said something, would you expect somebody to change your words up? Yeah, I'd be pissed. Yeah. 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 It'd be like it'd be like Like if somebody uh, changed the uh Martha Luther King's speech or something like that and Martha. changed the changed the words up and like now it says something else. You know what yeah. I mean? Like Martha Luther. You shouldn't have to or you can't do that. Like Yeah. Like he said, it like, and, and it was as subtle as, you know, Martin Luther King said, uh, I have a dream. And if you change it to, uh, I want a dream, just a little word. Talk, huh? mm-hmm. I had and I want. 
Yeah. It would be it would be like and then over time, say another twenty, thirty years from now, it would they would change one more word in it. And then and it's say, like oh, it's I just, want a job or yeah, like yeah. Exactly. It would be something different, you know what I mean? And I feel like the Muslim faith, they're still holding true to their word. And and to to uh caveat what you were saying earlier, like, yeah, they over there, you don't make fun Man, of the Muslim faith. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Damn. You don't make fun of the Muslim faith in the Middle East or anywhere in the world, really, right? Without some kind of they repercussion, will, bro. They will kill you. They, they, bro, he that said, shit that he happened said, in Garland, Texas, where they were talking about the Muslims. Motherfuckers drove states away in the U.S. right to come shoot that fucking right, place right. up. So this one, this, this one of the things he said too. He said, uh, "You can go around the United States and over here uh, with a shirt on that says God loves gay people." Try that shit and see if you'll make it out of a Muslim country. Shit. Shit. <laughs> you yeah. gone, buddy. You know, and I'm not saying like to be fucking hate on gays is, is the right thing to do or whatever the fuck, but at least they're standing on and by what the fuck they believe in. Right. You know, no wavering and shit like that. You don't got to believe in that shit if you don't want to or whatever. Yeah. They really, truly, fully, faithfully believe in their shit. You know what I'm saying? The first time I seen a motherfucker, uh, you know, here around me, uh, I tripped out when when the motherfucker just pulled out a prayer rug out of his fucking shit and laid it in in the fucking break room and went Started to doing praying. yeah went to doing his bowing and all that shit. And I was like, oh damn! I was like, he ain't, he ain't even. He ain't even blink an eye at anybody <laughs> staring at his head, he bro. He didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. That's that's devoted. That's faith. That's top. That's G not right giving there. a fuck about what anybody got to say or think. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Some people no, are I, calling that, Andrew Tate yeah. Morbius. Morbius was yeah, Morbius. He's like, wake up from the Matrix. Oh yeah, yeah. All that. Oh yeah, he is he, Morpheus. Like, besides the women and like, uh, you know, that <laughs> kind of talk, like he does do like the conspiracy woke kind of uh content or not content but discussions on different uh podcasts you know like usual stuff of uh i don't, I don't know like. he sounds like a smart dude but the, the shit that he like all the talk is cool but the shit that gets me is the whole like the scamming shit he was proud of the scamming shit and then to have this thing he has this called hustlers university and he charges uh he charges motherfuckers to do um uh, like it's like an online course or whatever the fuck, and, and it teaches you. He's teaching you like how to get bread and like do yeah. different shit and how to be a man basically or whatever the fuck. And uh, he has I forgot the number, but I did the math. It was like fifty dollars. No, no, it was a hundred and eight. 108,000 people signed up for this shit oh. at fifty bucks. I believe yeah. I wanted to say it's like uh, five and a half million around there that he gets per month. Plus, just for these guys being in this fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? And then he has a whole other one that's called the War Room, and these niggas are paying five thousand a month to be in this shit. But, bro, the way he's talking about this War Room shit, though, mark my words, if he keeps talking about this shit, bro, they're gonna fucking come get his bitch ass. Because <laughs> for real shit, bro, he was. You'll listen to it, but he was saying like he has the power and the resources. To if somebody was stuck in Russia, be able to get them out of Russia right now, like in the middle of everything going on, get in, get out, and you know what I'm saying, or wherever, wherever, anywhere in the world. To be so able now to he's like, spe- now he's like so, fucking special ops. Yeah. So this war room shit is like millionaires, like heavy people that that are involved in different type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like a resource pool, basically. Right. And. They pay to be in this, but then they can use everybody's fucking resource. Like, they can pull from, you know, whatever the fuck. I mean, and that he, shit sounds like organized crime to me. Yeah. That's why he loves organized crime. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but, I mean, if you were, if I was. And if, if you, you have a world organized crime, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to stop us now? <laughs> FBI, open up. Nah, but um, they. The, like uh, you told me um, off of the like they kick 
people off like who are not active in uh yeah. the community of that uh university thing he said you have to be hungry and like thrive for success yeah bro he said if you if you fucking like okay say you know one one month you you don't have the money to stay in in that fucking hustlers university and you put your shit on hold they'll hold you <laughs> and make you watch like while other people are winning like like purposely right, they'll make said, people he say you put put you in jail yeah but basically make you watch and and uh you know wish you had been in there or whatever the fuck and then if you don't get back in they'll ban you and then they'll like ban your number they'll ban your email you won't be able to get back in type shit like it's crazy bro <laughs> But that, we like, I tried to listen to his, I tried here. to listen to his podcast, and it was all about that shit. He has and, his own podcast. Yeah, he has his own podcast. But I tried <laughs> to listen to that shit, and it was all about the fucking Hustler University shit. I'm like, bro, this shit sounds like an infomercial. Like, I'm, you got to promote somehow. <laughs> I'd rather listen to him on everybody else's shit because he talks about regular shit. Like, I don't want to hear. I, you, you're not gonna sell me to go buy this shit. Hey, I'm not a fucking impressionable little kid. He's just yeah, a I'm funny not, guy. That's all. Like, I'm not doing he's that. Hilarious. I'm not doing that <laughs> shit, bro. I'm not paying somebody fifty dollars a month to figure out how to be a fucking man. Number one, yeah. I like most average fucking men know like we haven't figured this shit out yet. We haven't. Like you'd be fucking sixty years old, you still ain't figured out how to fucking be a man or what the fuck you're gonna do when you grow up. But I'm not definitely not gonna pay somebody fifty, 50 bucks a month. <laughs> so listen to his fucking bullshit right. when I can't even see this motherfucker face to face from time to time. Ain't you know, right at least, not even. At least y'all, at least you, we can text and talk. We might not see each other all the time, but I, you know, you know, okay, eventually he gonna come down here. We gonna yeah. see each other face to face, chop it up in person. I, I just have this thing where I'm not paying fifty bucks a month to somebody I'll I never just have see. this thing. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not doing that. I'm not paying fifty bucks yeah, a month to somebody I'll never see. Either. The only thing that I feel like is good that they could come of this is that we <laughs> the war room. The world can stop being fucking pussies at some point. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it catches on and then men get back to being men and I feel like that's we, about to happen. You know, women get back to being women, you know what yes, I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, I'm Make saying like sandwich. like respectable and shit like that. I ain't even saying like awesome, <laughs> get in there and fucking cook and clean up and all this other shit. But like, you know, just supposed stuff. to be barefoot, <laughs> head ass. But nah, just you know, s- stop all the fucking bitch assness. You know Man, for real, dude, for real. Like, like especially motherfuckers at work, bro. They can't like uh, if you have. It's in a Drake song. Like, if you have a problem with the way I talk or the way I say something, like, say something to me. Mm-hmm. I'm not a bad motherfucker. Say something, nah. baby. <laughs> What's this child support damn, shit? Damn, say something. Oh. States oh, make yeah. money off of child support. Yeah. Something called Title Four D, where let's say you you know go to court. Dad is ordered to pay child support for mom. You know the state makes money off of this dad paying child support. The federal government reimburses the states, right, for for collecting child support and dispersing it out. So you think, wait a minute. So if we had 50-50 custody, if we had kids are with mom half the time, with dad half the time, which by the way research shows is the absolute best for kids. What happens with child support? It's greatly reduced or there's none. The more child support the state can reel in, the more fe- the more the federal government pays the states. It's a business, you guys. You think child and then of course we've got the, the, the feminazis out there saying, you know, these deadbeat dads, you know, they're they're they, these poor moms. No, number one, these poor moms fought against a dad trying to get equal custody. All we want to talk about is dads who they're not dead beat, they're dead broke. States make money off of child support. That's crazy. She said feminine. The state makes money off of child support. You I always like figured, but you know, who who fucking it's not put out there. You would think that they're just collecting this money and everything goes to the kid, but somewhere along the line they gotta get paid, right? That's what taxes are for, right? I would think. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. But they tax for everything else. It's just like Jesus Mm-mm. Christ with all the taxes. But yeah, I don't know, bro. That shit is crazy to me. No, like uh I pay let's just say thousand dollars a month in child support. 
she's not going to get all that money. She might only get like 800, 850, something like that. Oh, for real? And they're smart about it. They don't do it in one lump sum payment. Oh, it's 200, 300, 400. You're always getting little dumps. So for her, it's hard to keep track of how much she's actually getting. Oh, okay. And so. (laughs) Damn, the money can slip through the cracks type shit. Just just like the the Trump stimulus shit. I didn't get it. She didn't get it. Child support says, oh, we have no clue. Well, where the fuck is that fucking money? Slipping through the cracks. Slipping that, through the cracks like a butt crack, like a dirty butt crack that so you wh- forgot to wipe good. So why didn't it go to her? I don't know. Like can't, if you if you don't get it because you have back child support, then it should go to Right, your child support, right? Like, right, because that's right. what that's what the, your taxes would do, right? Right, right. They take your taxes to do that. They should have took the yes. stimmy and done the same shit. That, that stimulus check is a mystery, just like the flat Earth theory. No, that's not a mystery. <laughs> it is definitely Man, a false. Been co- it's of definitely a false co- uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> conspiracy. False conspiracy. I mean, <laughs> wrap it up. This, <laughs> at this point like it's it's just a fuck situation I hate talking about that man I'd rather be homeless fuck like I'd rather be homeless and have to keep fucking fighting this if I had to start all over again fuck no let's fuck move to no. let's move to San Diego or where, yeah, where was go. it San Francisco think, San Diego where was it San Francisco I think it is San Francisco it is he San said, Francisco oh listen to the beginning of this video bro when he asked him where are you from Oh, San Francisco. Where are you from? Uh, Louisiana, Texas. Area. How long you been in San Francisco? <laughs> pause it, pause it, pause it. <laughs> he got some fucking... <laughs> he said Louisiana. He said, so how's it in San Francisco? <laughs> <laughs> he has... He, look at his fucking beard, mustache area. He has one of them uh, fucking backwoods, like, I catch fucking gators for a living ass mustache. <laughs> What, what oh, is that? Like, what is that show? That, uh, looks like Wolverine. Now, nah, what is that fucking show with them fucking hillbilly motherfuckers? Oh, fucking Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. He looks like the Duck Dynasty <laughs> reject. Anyways, press play. Be homeless. It's pretty fucking easy here. I mean, if we're gonna be realistic, they pay you to be homeless here. When you said that San Francisco pays people to be homeless, what did you mean by that? <laughs> you mean that literally? Yeah. I mean, I get $620 a month, dude. $620 From a month? Sir. <laughs> you, you, how was that hard to get? Fucking phone call, bro. Fucking phone wow. call, bro. Phone call. 200 food stamps and 620 bucks cash a month. Wow. Why wouldn't I do it? Sign me up. It's fucking free money, dude. Yeah. This right now is, is literally by choice. Literally by choice. Literally. Like, why would I want to pay rent? I'm not doing shit. I got a fucking cell phone that I have Amazon Prime and Netflix on. Where you Shit, from? bro. Hey, it worst come to worst, we San Francisco in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody gets money. Yeah, everybody sign up and get the 600, <laughs> and then we put the 200 the foods together. You know what I'm saying? Byron. Bro, we Who's can live Byron? great. You see? Bro, if you think about it, family of five, Jesus. like We can live, we can live mean, good, bro. For yeah. The, yeah, you're going to be freezing. doing all right. Yeah. You're gonna be doing all right. Mm-hmm. Can I just say I'm homeless so you can collect the money? We can make a hell of a tent. You know what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> bro, we can have like the under the bridge like fucking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> People be driving by like, what the fuck is that noise? I'm on. Club homeless, club homeless. <clears throat> I'm there on mushrooms like. <laughs> <laughs> Push the tent. Push the tent. <laughs> I'm over there lining things out in my life. Sheesh. <laughs> I mean, we got that much money. We're gonna fucking go. I mean, we all got a team up. It's a buddy system at this point. I can't hear you have to talk into the mic, bro. What if we just set up a tent outside the house? What about? It? Oh, you have to live in fucking San Diego, bro. San Francisco, San Francisco, and you have to be. <laughs> San Diego. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to have have to have a stench about you. Oh, but how got, do they regulate? He got some problems about that. He don't take a shower regularly. So. <laughs> no, nah, he does now. He does now. <laughs> he said yes. But how I do they, do. How do they regulate who's homeless and who's not? I mean, by that measure, 
Yeah, right. Which you're all like, calling, right? Yeah. Where do you receive your check? It they just put it straight to a card, huh? Right. I mean, because no, you no, don't no. got no they address. Probably, they probably walk up to the tent and go, "Here's your paycheck." <laughs> so <laughs> when you say address on this paper, right? Do you mean like, I mean, because I live like the bu- the third bus stop on the fifth corner. <laughs> <laughs> Where that crackhead is. <laughs> <laughs> right in between Mona and Lisa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like literally right between them. <laughs> right on the nose. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's crazy. I was wondering about that. Like how do they verify where the fuck they live? Like Or maybe they're so- fake. Yeah, bro, because you uh, like that if that's the case, if it's over a phone call, then you could do what Carmen said. Like you could just Make the call and say, hey, I'm out here. I'm homeless. I need a, if he said it's just a phone call. I need my shmoneys. But listen, if there's a place to move to and be homeless, it would be Cali. It doesn't rain like that. You know what I'm saying? Sunshine. Beach bumming it. Mm. Good weather. So if you're making, though, if you're making approximately, let's just say what they're making, about $1,000 a month, right? Like you, you couldn't shower every now and then? I'm pretty sure he showers. With, he can get a haircut or something. You know what I'm saying? He definitely he, he, don't know he had his beard trimmed up. What you mean? That shit look, did not look trimmed man, up. Man, pull that man up again. No, nah, hell no. He had the Hulk that Hogan shit, shaved nah. in the middle. You know what I'm saying? But his hair, mm, too. Nah. It's like. No, he got in a fight and somebody ripped that hair off his chin. That's what happened with that man. <laughs> Maybe he just woke up and homeboy ran up on him with the camera. You know what I'm saying? No, and he got the he, he looks, look. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Because he has the business in the front, party in the back, bro. He got a mullet. <laughs> he has a whole haircut right here. Nah, bro. He don't got no haircut, bro. And is that a is that a Carhartt fucking shirt? It's probably just his face. It is a Carhartt shirt. He don't look like Texas homeless people. That boy don't look like no bum to me. No, he living good out there in Cali. Maybe you onto something, bro. He looked like a meth Man. head, but a bum. I mean, he does. Who gets this tattoo on his forehead? I know. Bro? That's why I'm saying. Like, I've seen, definitely not I've getting seen, no jobs. I've seen bikers that look worse than this dude. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the fucking eyebrows over the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sorry, a huge guys. facial expression. Yeah, what is it? He oh, got he's got stars on his forehead. Exploding stars with a butterfly. With a butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> or is it a moth? I don't know. It rubs it's the a lotion conspiracy on. Theory. It That's puts it the is. lotion on the skin. <laughs> lotion. Or it gets the hose again. <laughs> Roach head. Yeah. What the Bro. fuck? That's hey, a weirdo, so though. fun fact. Did you know Marilyn Monroe was Mexican? Who's that? I'm just kidding. Just don't. No. Did you know this? No, I didn't. No, but can we look it up? Did you know Marilyn Monroe is Mexican? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. The one of the most... Re- baddest regard, I mean, regarded bitches as bad or whatever, regarded yeah. to be bad or whatever. In history, she um, sung. It the says right happy there that she's the American. President. No, <laughs> she's Mexican, bro. Uh, doesn't say. What does it say? It doesn't say anything. August fifth, though. She's August baby. Okay. Her mom. Her mom was born in Mexico. Uh, something. Yep. Hmm. But, from uh, India, so, so she's Indian, not even Mexican, bro. Okay, but she's not going to sit here doing a whole lot of reading. Her mom, she's born. what? What did Google person say? I did all the research yesterday. Trust me, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So what's this India shit? I don't know. <laughs> I got a whole link. Oh, if you want to fucking check? I had it out. to. No, my bad, my bad, my bad. I had to make the read screen bigger. It's okay. I got you. No, yeah, she's Mexican. Wow, that's crazy. No, I I honestly, besides what they teach in history, I think she's a part of history. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's all I know about her. She and only fuck JFK. That's it. That that's but, probably it. Yeah. How did you find out about that? That's crazy. Just random fun fact, you know. Speaking <laughs> of <laughs> fun fact. So speaking of fucking presidents, let's talk about presidents fucking us. Is that is that a pause comment right there? Do I need a pause comment yeah, from that pause. one? Big pause. Big pause. Uh, so they're saying like Biden's trying to fight this fucking recession shit. Like they were not in a recession. The gas prices are like 
fucking your son's fucking firstborn per gallon. Uh, fucking housing market's going fucking crazy. The res- there's a recession coming. He don't know his ass from his elbow at this point, so how he, he couldn't spot a fucking <laughs> couldn't spot a recession <laughs> if it kicked him in the nuts. Come on, man. <laughs> Wait, wasn't I thought he was trying to change like the definition of what recession is. He they were like right at the last minute when this I get bro this shit they they were probably about to put this report out. And they said, wait a minute, let's change the definition of what a recession is. Then we won't be in a recession because mm. we're that it would fit, stupid. It would fit into what like he he wants it to be, you know, like he wants he wants it to fit his narrative. He doesn't want to go like, oh, the definition is this. Well, now I'm wrong. No, he wants to change it and then fit his narrative. You know, that's what I feel like. That's <laughs> that's what they're trying to do. That's what they've done with everything else. I feel like roll the tape. Well, there is a report that is supposed to come out on Thursday, which shows if we are officially in a recession, but that may not happen because take a look at this right here. The Council of Economic Advisors is redefining what a recession is. Basically, they're changing the definition of a recession. So we may not be in a recession because the Biden administration changing the definition of a recession. What do you think about this? Go ahead and comment. Well, they have Hunter Biden smoking crack on camera and nobody speaks about it. <laughs> so they're just changing things all around. Everything's a okay. It's the stupidest shit I've Smoke. probably seen in my life. He's probably smoking crack. That's what he wants to change the definition of a recession. <laughs> Get him the fuck out of here. What if at the end of his yeah, term yeah, he like, yeah. took, off, took off a Scooby Doo mask? Like, <laughs> grabbed his chin, like, whoosh. Pesky kids. <laughs> if it wasn't for you pesky kids. Well, then at this point, it just means that words literally mean nothing. Because you just change the definition, and now. Oh, nothing means thing. nothing, bro. It started with the whole, you know. Uh, He, she, they, we. All this other bullshit. Once you go to start. That fucking snowball, and you throw that bitch down the hill. <laughs> Guess what? That bitch keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Ain't no stopping it. Before you know it, ain't nothing the same. Mm-mm. At the end of uh, at the end of uh, you know our lives, we can't speak. You know, we're gonna not be able to speak and say words because every word is gonna be offensive. So we're just gonna be like this. Bruh. Now that's when we call so, robots. Fun, fun fact or something for the people to look up. Who actually decides if we're in a recession? Congress. Congress. No. No government official. It is a group of like random ass nerds. They're not even elected. They could you get to decide. Look it up. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. They could easily dictate what's going on. I mean, it could be bad yeah, and good. Sure. I mean, you could definitely buy them off if you were Joe Byron. You could definitely buy them off to make it say what you want to say. But who Byron? <laughs> but if you wanted to fucking, I mean, I don't know. But then again, if you try to buy them off and they're like, "Yo, fuck you," bam, explode that shit. Now you're impeached. So I don't know. It could be good or bad that it's you know it's definitely good that the government is not the one fucking doing the research because they tend to fuck shit up. Oh, it's like but, nobody gives a fuck anymore. I mean, the the fucking writing is on the wall. If they had the amount of shit that they have looming on Trump, he would have been the fuck out of there, bro. Oh yeah, he would have been no. He, yep, he would have been He's, the fuck out. He would have been in jail probably. Yeah, they still going after him for that stupid fucking riot. Right, but ain't saying shit about you know the Hunter Biden laptop. Nothing. None of that shit. And, and the voicemail. You heard about the voicemail, too. Yep. So, yep. yeah. W's for China. I hope they shoot Nancy Pel- No, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> in GTA, in GTA. <laughs> China. <laughs> China's holding they nuts, bro. You feel me? Them motherfuckers I mean, like, you fly that motherfucking plane over here, you bring Nancy Pelosi bitch ass over here. We shooting that motherfucker down, bro. 
I we ain't just, playing no I'm, goddamn games. Don't be flying over here. In GTA, of course. <laughs> Fucking with Taiwan. You feel me? We yeah, take that shit as a war threat. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. It's like everybody's all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, because people have been against us, but oh my bad. Play play that play that shit. Get ready. Watch this. The Chinese might respond to Pelosi's visit. Uh, sure do, John. First, though, I want to just read out that uh, that concerning suggestion from Chinese state media that uh, the Chinese could potentially shoot down Pelosi's plane. They said on Twitter, if U.S. fighter jets escort Pelosi's plane into Taiwan, it is an invasion. The PLA has the right to forcibly dispel Pelosi's plane and the U.S. fighter jets, including firing warning shots and making tactical movement of obstruction. If ineffective then shoot them down. So that is probably the most um, escalated rhetoric we've heard over this. Honest opinion. They ain't playing no games. They say they're going to shoot that down. It's like they trying to bully America because they know we have a fucking dumbass for a president. I swear to God. But ain't nobody really, you know what I'm saying, made that first. They talking a lot. They saying a lot of shit. They making a lot of threats. But they ain't this done shit got, yet. This is exactly how we got pulled into World War II. They ain't done shit yet, though. You know That's saying? cool. Let sit down. Let them. Let them figure it out. Fuck them. Yeah. Let them figure it out. They ain't done let shit. Them figure it out. Keep talking that shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But see, like that's that's the whole thing. I don't even want to uh, be like. I don't know, bro. I, like, it's hard for me to even be on the side of America to say like. Oh, they can't fuck with us and shit like that. Like, cause at this point, America hasn't treated us right, so why Jesus should I treat it right? right you know, fuck? I kind of get it, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's kind of like you don't, <laughs> you don't want to be on the side of like somebody else. But I mean, I can see like people are getting tired of America being in everybody's fucking business, bro. Mind your own goddamn business. Yeah, Mexico's getting tired of America. Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought you were no. saying like, "Oh, Mexico down with the the U.S." And when, when when did I say that? Uh, on another pod, I was saying I yeah. was saying about uh, that uh, if, that Mexico was re- fucking with Russia. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, okay. let's keep it. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> we, we got time to sit here and fucking think. We we are on a podcast, sir. No, we do got time to think. You have to think, sir. Listen, you have no brain, wrong. sir. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's bigger than everybody's. Uh, Wrong. Just your head. <laughs> which head you looking at, buddy? That's pause. <laughs> that's, that is pause that right there. Gay. Anyway, that so was gay. the so, Mexico I'm topic. I'm not the one looking at the heads. The Mexico Listen, topic. Mexico, Whoa. Mexico City. There's a there's a guy, a social media guy in Mexico hey, City. Yo. He's tired of. He's not only him, <clears> but there's a lot of people that are tired of Americans moving to Mexico City. Because they're moving down there, and I guess they're buying up businesses and jacking up the prices on everything, trying to make a dollar like they do here. And he did a pod, uh, TikTok where he was basically telling Americans, like, get the fuck out. And this dude had, like, 108,000 uh, viewers that were on board. They were commenting. Like, it got shared. Like, this thing went viral down in Mexico. Um, and there's even letters, they say, like, that are around Mexico that says, you know, are you working from home? Are you working abroad? Well, take your ass back to America because nobody wants you here. Get the fuck out of here. Like, they, they don't want them in Mexico. Mm. Mm. I was waiting for that time to come. Well, and I saw that uh, that uh, they were saying something about they're kind of losing the Spanish language over there. S- something of around there like because of more americans going over there is changing to like more english than spanish i don't believe that no oh yeah that's true there's like a million and a million point or 1.6 million americans over there so what how many people are in their country how many people are in mexico google that they're saying like english is becoming more and more and more evolved in mexico I mean that's. I mean, that's, bro, you. Hit, I know so many Mexican people that do not. They speak English, but will not fucking speak English in America. Out of choice. Out of choice. What the fuck? Like you're in their country. Why the fuck wouldn't they choose not to fucking <laughs> speak English? 
But they choose to speak English in their country, but won't speak English here. I don't. I don't think that's true. Oh, a hundred and twenty. No, oh, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like English is just growing and growing and growing. It's a force of nature because people that are moving down there that speak English, not only from America but from Canada as well, they move to Mexico. They speak English, so that's forcing the the locals down there, if you will. Oh, to just have to do the fucking too. no. Just do the fucking same thing that you would normally do. For sure, absolutely, I agree. Learn 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 Spanish. Spanish is a lit language to learn. Like I wish I knew Spanish. Like, didn't you go through Spanish one and Spanish two? And didn't learn a lick. <laughs> he knows Olar. No, 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 you've been in Spanish class too. Do you know Diaz. Spanish? I went through Spanish one, and I know more than you. Yes. Speak Spanish right now. Can you say a sentence speak, for us? Speak Spanish right now. Not no Would basic like stuff. No. Will you say one for us? Oh, brother. Probably not. Uh, Here comes the excuses. <laughs> what, what's your excuse? That I, I, I know bro, how to say they don't teach it right. I know how to say <laughs> uno mas and uh, donde esta la baño. <laughs> Como es Juan. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Cornholio. Cornholio. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think I don't think Mexico is really improving of America right now. A lot of people aren't, man. A lot of people aren't. I mean, then it's yeah, that's uh, that was a part of the Andrew Tate shit too. It was talking about like uh, you know America sensationalizes itself and saying like uh, this is the only place that's free. He was like, uh, like where where the fuck. <laughs> like in the world that and uh like you can go anywhere in the world and you can be free or whatever and the homeboy was like well what about china he was like well everywhere is more freer than china right and he was like yeah you got a point <laughs> so, <laughs> but i think that land of the free shit uh derived I, I if i had to guess it derived from like when they first came yeah, to america came, yeah yeah and because they didn't have to be worried about it's so crazy because they weren't they didn't want to get taxed. And then, but then they come over here and create a tax system. Everything. I got a question. Who or why the fuck did anybody create currency and what would life be like without currency? Trades. Yeah, trades. We Barter trade system. Like bread for clothes yeah. and stuff. Let me give you this but bread we, for the new did, Jays right there. You know what I'm saying? But what if but what if we never had a dollar or a peso or a dinar or Whatever, like well, they had what other shit. To they, they what got, if we stuck to trades? They had you other shit. Would be they different? had gold and silver and fucking like precious jewels, currency, and shit like that. currency. Yeah. What if we never had currency and we, we still have evolved something? Off of trade. Well, but currency that, is currency like, is bread trading. No, currency is a form. Like, hey, I want to buy this off of you. If you traded it, you want you want some cow? All right. Well, I need some chickens. But like, it's the same how much thing. Different would it's the same. Trade would be yeah. like. Trade is currency. That's yeah, that's what I was about thing. to say. Because you're giving the thing you want, the more you would offer for it, or a higher value thing you would offer for it. Right. I'm not going. I'm trade. not going to give you a machine gun for a loaf of bread. Like it's not. Yeah. That's, that's not, not equal. That. So currency. Had hundred thousand of them. It's currency. It's either, either way. Any way you cut it, it's still a currency. But you're, you're talking talk- about what the fuck? Whatever. Google person. Oh, but you're talking about like on some, you know, just straight barter shit. I would be like, "Hey, we all live in this community. I'm I'm making the bread. <laughs> you make the salad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody I mean, got their own little thing, and we got to come together all together. I think life one would day. be better. Yeah, I think it would. But like, hey, I'm I'm paid? down to go back to the fucking. You know what I'm saying? Back in the gap, bro. I want to. You know, we're getting weak. Getting yeah, soft around this motherfucker. I want to go mm. back. You know what I'm saying? Would you bring dinosaurs back? Nah. No, they would kill us all. <laughs> nah, but I'm saying, like, if. Okay, so this is one of the things, too. I just broke my phone. You know what I'm saying? I had to go, uh, like, what, a day without a phone. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And all I had was uh, Dummy Boy's old iPhone. And <laughs> we can get into this shit, too. We got I got Dummy Boy's old iPhone 7. You know what I'm saying? And I had to get it unlocked. So they said it was going to take 24 hours for it to be unlocked. So basically, I was 24 hours without a phone. The only thing I could do is to, like, do iMessage, you know, with Wi-Fi or whatever the fuck. So I had that, but I had to have it, like, you know, here. I couldn't do nothing at work. 
you know, at the gym. You know, I could get on Wi-Fi at the gym. But um, so it kind of took me back to the days of whenever you, like, you were only using the phone when you were, went to the house. You know what I'm saying? Use the phone at the house. Uh, you know, you get a, you get a, you, you use a pay phone. You're at somebody else's house, use the phone. You know, shit like that. So it was kind of. It's kind of refreshing, bro, kind of freeing a little bit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it, you still get them same moments you fucking digging in your pocket to go look at your phone, and you're like, no, I can't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it reminded you know, you, you want to go we, scroll through TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Did it remind you of, like, why you wore a watch when you used to? No. Nah. <laughs> you didn't wear a watch? No. I mean, oh. I, yeah, I did, but not to tell Tom. It was oh, more like the, to flex. Yeah, it was a little cool <laughs> shit. How do you read that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it's no, it's kind of dead right now. You no, know? A, <laughs> it's upside down. I'm a I'm a real native. You know what I'm saying? So I just use the sun. You feel me? Yeah. You see, if you were a top G, you would automatically know off the rip what time it was oh, without even looking at your wrist you. or anything. You feel me? I'm like I'm like uh, indigenous. You feel me? Like. <laughs> <laughs> all that shit. Anyways, <laughs> so it brings me to my next shit. Like, I had to use this whack ass iPhone, bro. Chill. You know, we and had the iPhone. Seven. We had the iPhone uh Android discussion. More. But uh yeah. I'm not I'm not impressed, bro. Oh. You have a seven, first off. Who gives a fuck? Suck. Don't start making excuses because a lot of the things that I hate uh, I, that I do not like about this phone, they still do it. So if I said an oh, old yeah. Android version was trash, and then you're like, "Nah, it's it's this version," like that wouldn't exactly no, no, yes, no. that's the same argument. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Like, yes, it is. Into, no, it's not. Like using an yes, iPhone is. with an unbiased. It, I'm device. legit not about to have this conversation with three motherfuckers that got iPhones. <laughs> Okay, you and brought I, it up. I, I know, but y'all not about to be sitting here just fucking jumping all over me whenever I'm trying to get my point across. Me and Dummy Boy don't have like Go tablets. Ahead. Okay, turn your mic off. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so the whole the whole fucking uh, there, there's shit that the Android been doing for a long fucking time that y'all are barely getting now. When, when I had to ask you how to do a fucking screenshot. Paul, right, and right. you fucking tell me like the home button and the fucking power button. You have to use two. You can't do that shit with one hand. Well, the newer phones, you just tap the back of the phone and it takes. Listen, bro, I know this, but Android ain't never had to use two fucking hands to to take a fucking screenshot ever. Oh. You couldn't. And then on top of that, what you mean? Yes, you could. <laughs> no, you when I to, had an I Android, mean, I, could so so like I could You're not take no screenshot. I could not take a screenshot. I swear, are you saying, are you saying to take fucking a liar, bro? I had you have one. Power button and the home. Yep. The, you have the power button. I did that on home. my Samsung. No, you didn't. <laughs> you're did a fucking mine. liar, bro. Yes, you're a liar, bro. This, I you're that such phone a liar. Like, over bro, here. I've been having fucking phones before you even existed, dog. Like, you can't <laughs> tell me shit. Phone. And you still don't realize that Apple is better? <laughs> All right, so we're not even That's having so this conversation, bro. No, keep going, keep going. No, because this is unfair. Y'all niggas is just keep. I can't even get nothing fucking out because as soon as I start saying That's something, what? answering you, then you start talking just like I you're just doing said, right now. I just said go. <laughs> Anyways, next I fucking topic. No, let's no, go. run the topics. I don't want to no, talk. Let's I go. don't want to talk about this shit no more. Next, let's topic. just talk about how good Apple is compared to Android. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. Oh but this shit! Is more than just a little spooky. <laughs> Pure evidence. Mega mine. I don't know about y'all. Did you Google? Bro, it? Did you Google it? The like the actual shit. I would like to see the actual pictures of the school. But it like okay, that looks like some fake you got shit. a real life alien skull. How can you deny that there's no aliens? I need to see the real picture. That's just a TikTok. I'm saying, like, if they found a real life skull of, like, not a human skull or any type of other animal skull, like. Maybe that's a real human. I mean, maybe that's a human. It's just like a fucking retard. Yeah, see, that's not even a picture of. That's. What the fuck is that? It looks that like shit? Roblox. I forgot to just oh. uh, smash head. You know 
saying? <laughs> no. Crazy. He fell under the fucking bulldozer. Yeah. Like, if you watch that show, him. Ancient Aliens, man, they, they talk about this skull they found. And it doesn't look nothing like that shit right there on that fucking uh, TikTok. It looks like a uh, elongated kind of upwards, elongated human skull coming off the top of the head. But it doesn't look, no, it doesn't even look like that. It doesn't. Mm. No. But I don't, <laughs> that's crazy. Just to find an alien skull, like finding that. Like yeah, I, I, but I'm not gonna knock it though either because you don't fucking know. We don't know what's at the bottom of the ocean, so how the fuck do we know what's in our outer space or our solar system? And it's not like they just <laughs> here comes this guy with that fucking argument, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we know more argument? about the surface of Mars than we do about our own ocean. Fun fact: well, we only know about ten percent of the fucking ocean has ever been explored. Well, ten fucking percent. I it was right? like fifteen. It's ten. I did yeah. the research. They say it's from from five to like fifteen. Well, then how much of Mars? Do so we I went know? with ten. Like they can't even go down to the Marianas Trench. They can't because of the pressure. Allegedly, it exists. Allegedly, exists. They can. They went down there before. Have they? With they have videos. Though. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. like they send like drone type shit. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But the pressure, like the pressure, is so much that it just like caves. Whatever the fuck they see? send down there. And that's why aliens' heads look like that because they've been down there. Mm, talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Did you see that thing that they, um, they, they had the video of a, or was it? A, yeah, they had a, a video, some kind of video camera or whatever the fuck under an oil rig and it caught um, like this big long ass squid looking fucking thing, like an octopus or whatever the fuck, but it looked like a big ass alien spaceship. It coming looked like, like out of the ground or what? Yeah, it looked. It had like tentacles coming down like this, and it had like oh I don't know. Shit, shit looked crazy. It was green. Wow, the cone heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother! That's what they found. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that shit they found in the submarine when it came back up. Movies of shit, bro. <laughs> that movie's funny as hell. Uh, yeah, I mean, who, who's to say if that? Aliens head is true or not because you just don't fucking know, man. You just don't, you can't, you can't sit here and say, we can have arguments all day about round earth, flat earth. If it's a dome, it's a real round. solar system. But do, do either one of us actually fucking know what the fuck we're saying? Nope. No, the majority of the fucking people on this earth never been around the entire shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, yeah, like 99.99% of the people have it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, it's just relying on fucking people to tell you what the fuck is going on. It's crazy, and right? Like it, it really is. Beliefs, yeah. It's kind of we crazy to fucking beliefs. think about that you got to fucking just depend on people to tell the truth in the age mean, of yeah. the motherfuckers don't tell the truth. We're stuck in the matrix. You got to wake up. Open your third eye. You don't eye. get your top G <laughs> ass on. So. That's not top G. That's Nico. You know what I mean? Would you <laughs> Would you rather wear somebody's dirty underwear or use their toothbrush? Ooh, underwear. No, no. 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 you're willing to put toothbrush. that toothbrush in your mouth? Yeah, toothbrush, bro. Toothbrush all day, toothbrush. Because I can bo- go boil the toothbrush real fast. Yeah, get the germs. No, off it's it, like you got to. No, you got to. You can't. You can't do you gotta that. You got to use the, the toothbrush how it is. Like dirty. <laughs> I'll take my chances. I, I can rinse yeah. with Listerine if afterwards. The, I'm not putting out. on somebody I'm dirty booty on underwear on this. They got ball sweat in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Ball sweat. Yeah. From under cheese, yeah, bro. Because if you're, <laughs> if you're, ass right yesterday, and now you got fucking butt sauce, on doo-doo your stains on, <laughs> we got street marks on this shit. Like I mean, I stink, but it's my smell. Way. I'm okay. I would wear my dirty underwear, but I wouldn't wear nobody else's dirty. You know, underwear. just put just put cologne on it. No, <laughs> these no. Are, Ooh, the Oscar the Grouch Jones. Hell Ooh, no. I'm just like wearing some underwear and then putting it over it. My favorite not- tiger stripe underwear is here you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just oh, not wearing underwear at that point. I'm just not wearing underwear. 
Fuck it. Yeah, Commando. technically, technically, I don't have to wear like I don't have to wear uh, my underwear how it is. I could put no, it on the outside of the pants. Technically, no, you have to wear it. I got wear. Said I have no, to, you said yeah. no, I had to wear it. You, could, you said we couldn't do no extra shit to the toothbrush. So, so you can't do no extra. His piss stains are going on your little pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm flipping the underwear inside out. I'm flipping the underwear inside out. They're the tidy whities, my boy. The yeah. the out. <laughs> they're the tidy whities, my boy. <laughs> it does. <laughs> They don't matter. You still <laughs> sharing pee pee juice with another man. Pee pee juice. juice is crazy. Uh-huh. Sharing butt you juice got, and pee pee juice. You got all kind of diseases in your mouth with the two diseases. Did yes. you know the mouth yes. is the most? It'll make re- you like it, the mouth will heal faster than any part of the body. But you got to think that that was in another man's Google mouth. It. You're Google technically it. making out with it's another fun man. Fact. Fun fact. Fun fact: you're the taking, mouth will heal Technically, you're making out with actually, another think, man. That's what actually, it is. I think the I think the eye heals faster than anything else, but the mouth is pretty damn fast to heal. The eye, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I think the eye does wine. heal fast. I think the eye is the ha- fastest healing part of the body. But yeah, I'm not sharing fucking pee pee juice with another man. That's not. Yeah, no, nah, I'm going. I'm going toothbrush all day. And what's the like? Uh, like you got to wear it for a whole day, or like for a yeah, yeah, a whole day. Go to work. A whole or, day. In oh. your case, go to school. Just survive that, and then you take a like two showers, three showers, whatever. Like, good. <laughs> or the eye, the cornea, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, I was not attempting to read that whole sentence. Uh, those are big words. But that's kind of not a. <laughs> error. No, there's one that says a. Br- br- nope. Br- br- Invisalign. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope. but not your okay. Right. So, so would you wear another dirty man's? Like, would you wear another uh, man's socks? Dirty socks or what? socks? No, just would you wear the dirty socks? Because I can't think of anything else that's grosser the than hell? What? no. What? What is the two decisions? Like what? socks and what? That's random. I don't know. I don't socks know. I just because socks <laughs> is so easy for a whole day. Socks, that's easy. socks or the underwear. Okay, socks. Would you rather wear socks. Would you socks? Or would you? What? You'd rather wear socks or what? Jockstrap? Jockstrap? Oh, socks all day. Yeah. Socks all day. Socks are so easy, just, you know? It might just yeah. rate eight, it. Eight. Eight. Uh, and a half. Nah, that was actually low. I'll give it about seven. Stunk. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's, a, she's a six, but she has a lot of money. Oh, my God. Do you know, like, uh, I was seeing on Instagram a whole bunch of people posting Lil Miss. I don't know what that is. Do you know what it is? Little Miss? No. Yeah, it's like a post that says Little Miss, a caption right under it, and then a, a drawing right under drawing. that. I don't know what the fuck that is. And it's like a doodle drawing and like, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know where it came from and I don't know she, like, why it's a thing. This. I don't know. I'm not on social media, so. You know what's it just funny, randomly though? Started. You know what's funny, though? On what are two podcasts ago, whatever, we talked about vabbing. And I was like, that I right thought there. I was a dumb motherfucker for not knowing what vabbing <laughs> was or wasn't. But it come to find out, it's a lot of dumb motherfuckers. Who? At work. Oh. I asked <laughs> almost everybody at work, do you know what vabbing is? No, what is that? And I would say, guess what you think it is? And, uh, you know, it was the fuck, dude. One guy said, oh, that's when you, you fucking, I, I don't know, this is the stupidest comments. I'm not going to fucking <laughs> go over them all, but they were fucking stupid. And some of them I can't remember, but nobody, nobody knew what the fuck vabbing was. And when I would tell them, the first reaction was, no, 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 that's disgusting. <laughs> well, Lizard, have you seen uh, the clown that hides from gay people? Yeah, I saw it at your bedroom window last night. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see him? <laughs> Did you see him? You didn't Did you see, see him? him Who, me? Oh, yeah, I definitely he saw was like, the clown. <laughs> no, I definitely <laughs> saw the clown. <laughs> I definitely saw the clown. <laughs> I was asking if you saw the clown. He blocked the shot. I was asking if you saw the clown. He blocked your shot. Describe its features. <laughs> I saw Describe its features. Windows. Yeah. It has a red ball on his nose, a white face. Yeah, would like you? Clown. Okay, so would you rather be stuck in, uh, never be stuck in traffic again or never get another cold again? No never get another cold. But you'll be stuck in mad traffic for the rest of your life. Like I would say, no. You traffic. would never. You, you, have you, to be? you would never go fast again. 
Ooh, ah, no, no traffic. No, no, the, no. Ah, no. <laughs> no, no traffic. Wait, no so traffic. that means so that means you have to be cold and sick forever. If you're going like no. you gotta be in mad traffic forever, like you, you gotta be you gotta, you gotta feel like forever. you got a, a lifelong on running cold. But still, but, I would, but I would, you'll no. never be in traffic again. Like a fever. No, then I'll clothes. then I'll fucking never no cold. If like a cough. We're doing it chills, forever. You know. But you get you get forever. you get like no excuses off the traffic. So like if you're stuck in traffic and then you get late to work or something like that, they're not gonna excuse you. You're gonna just you know it's just a fine print again. <laughs> the fine print, <laughs> like we're gonna just keep adding to it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying, like it's gonna fit to reality, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What about you? Are we out of topics or what the fuck? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about you? You, which one are you taking? Traffic. <sighs> yeah, traffic. I hate being sick, bro. I'm a fucking bitch. <laughs> you go, I'm a bitch. When it comes to fucking being sick, bro, I fucking hate it. There's nothing worse. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Nothing. Well, you worse. said it's just a cold, though. Huh? You said it's just a cold. Yeah, Not but like still, you you like got chills. You know, you're Sneeze. achy, you're fucking coughing and shit, sneezing, runny nose, everything that comes along with it. Yep. What's this video? Press play. See what we got here. Crazy conspiracy theories and legends behind the infamous Satan. Georgia Guidestones that was blown up and completely destroyed just a few days ago. This mysterious monument contains a cryptic 10-part message that's carved in stone in eight different languages. The first message that's located at the top of the monument and translated into eight different languages literally promotes depopulation and genocide. It reads, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature, along with a bunch of other mysterious messages messages that seem to be promoting a new world and a one world government. What's even crazier is that this mysterious monument also had blood stains splattered in different areas, being rumored <laughs> to be the location for late night sacrificial rituals. It was built in 1980 and it was commissioned by an unknown person or group that used the pseudonym of RC Christian. Candace Taylor, a Republican candidate from Georgia, Candace. was very adamant about destroying the monument prior to it getting completely blown up into pieces. She described dum, dum, the monument dum. as being satanic and as being a crucial component in her campaign against the Luciferian cabal, leading many to believe that this monument contained the Ten Commandments of the Antichrist, and that this monument containing these commandments was meant to survive a global apocalypse and help any and all survivors in regulating the New World Order. The stones were even rumored to have psychic powers, claiming that if you were to point both arms at the monument with one palm up and one palm down as above so below you would receive psychic messages the craziest part in my opinion is that this monument was built on top of native american sacred grounds with the hopi indians and their ancient shamans claiming that an ancient prophecy foretold that when stone tablets are returned to the center of the earth the new age will begin Have you the boy of course so you could like I don't know, bro. <laughs> how do you, <laughs> sounds cool or whatever, but like, how do you make people forget like what really was before this shit? You have to wipe their memory just because it's like a fucking catastrophic event and like a bunch of people die or whatever the fuck, and you're like, you know, uh, one of the few or like, you know, you're in a group of twenty that you know, survive or whatever the fuck and then you become the leader like on some walking dead shit. You didn't you didn't wipe their fucking memory. They they remember what the fuck happened, you know what I'm saying? You're not just gonna convince somebody like, hey, I'm Jesus. Hey, I'm <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you are my disciples. <laughs> I mean we're starting this shit over and you're making up your own rules and shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean if it's the end of the world and You see this? You see these stones? Yeah, those are the Georgia God stones. No. These are the way of the world. <laughs> This message was sent here by the others. You mean the guy who built that shit? Like, <laughs> bitch, I yeah. remember this. I saw <laughs> Bob. I saw Bob literally pushing that up and putting it into the ground. <laughs> like you're telling me this is my grandpa right. helped build that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had the video on tape. Look, <laughs> no, it was sent here from the others. <laughs> China. Yeah, China. No, nah, that would be crazy though. Like, psh, I don't know. I think. Uh, they said that shit was built in the, in the 80s and like I mean you're right like 
so this is crazy. While y'all were talking, it got me to thinking about something, right? Like, it seems like they're trying to delete everything about who we are today, right? How the fuck did they know that the Mayans were called the Mayans? I don't know. That's a good question. Like, how did they know that they were called Mayans? How do we know what what anything? I mean, because uh, no, because allegedly all the Mayans disappeared. So how did we know what they were even called the Mayans? How they would we know they weren't called something different? I mean, because they started communicating with like the Aztecs and shit, and the Aztecs telling story of you know because the they Mayan. knew the Mayans or you know lineage. Handed, okay. handed down stories and shit like that. So, yeah, like, I mean, they would know, know of them. Like, that's they a fact or that's just what you think? I'm just saying, like. Okay. No, I'm, I'm seriously just wondering because, like, the Mayans were alive, allegedly, like a long-ass fucking time ago. I know, but they There's were no, not the only tribe that fucking existed. Right, I get They're that. They're just the only that. tribe but how that did we, don't exist. But how did we know about their fucking ways nowadays? I don't know. I just think, like, it's kind of history repeating itself kind of thing. I mean, I don't know, bro. <laughs> you got me on that one. But <laughs> it's motherfuckers putting two and two together. Same thing like they, they do with every fucking thing else. But you and I just keep repeating this shit. Just allowing people to tell you what the fuck up is and down is and left is and right is and blue is and yeah, green stuck is in and the brown matrix. is. And, you know what I'm saying? The matrix. Just because somebody yeah. says that shit. Doesn't mean it's that shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And obviously anymore, he, they, them, we. Thy shall me. What is this? And then, and then you change the words around. Oh, when it was made? 1979. Is that what it says? Georgia Guidestones. In June. June. In June. Mm. Mm, in June. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's queer. <laughs> That's queer. <laughs> you can say that. That's technically what yeah, it's called, right? It, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, would you rather um, drink oh, a gallon? No, a drink a liter of piss or a liter of sweat? Really? I'm not interested. Of my own? Yeah. Oh, of your oh, own sweat. piss. Sweat? Wait, why wouldn't you drink sweat? <laughs> you would drink your own pee from where? Yeah, then your day. sweat? You would rather yes. drink sweat piss than sweat. My my piss, yes. Sweat like don't I'm taste talking like about. Nothing. I'm talking about dark long orange. night out. Yeah, long oh, night out. Yeah. First, ah, first dark. piss of the morning. Dark pee. <laughs> All right, I'm talking, you, you got, got that drink, dark yellow. You gotta drink. You gotta drink the sweat between your ass cheeks. I'm fine. Armpits and feet. I'm fine. Give me that Back sweat. Knee caps. Yeah. Give me that sweat. Why you gotta go mm. asshole with it? You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. <laughs> I just figure like you're standing there, you sweat out of you know, just comes from every part of your body. Mm. You sweat into a bucket below and they're, they're you know I say sweat, sweat it, mm. it don't really taste like nothing. Yeah, it does. No? Probably tastes like piss. <laughs> <laughs> they taste exactly the same. <laughs> then I would say neither to both of them. <laughs> what about you? Hundred thousand dollars. Oh, brother, I'm not liking this situation at all. <laughs> hundred thousand is looking promising, though. What's up? Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars. Would you drink a cup of dog piss? Yes. A cup a dog piss for a hundred thousand dollars? That's the yeah. lowest I could go. You just you just sold your soul He's right there. With it. No, I ain't I'm sucking no dick. So I'll it. drink a cup of piss. Dog piss too? Fuck yeah. I'll drink it. <laughs> you're gonna drink dog. it, you're gonna drink it and go. There's no fucking <laughs> this no. It's just a regular hey, listen. Dog, a regular piss. Listen, bro, Beast used to have like green shit on his fucking red rock. <laughs> 
don't Honey know if I'm drinking a on. fucking uh, cup of dog I'm food. Going, <laughs> My I'm man going. had malaria on his dick. <laughs> Golly, <laughs> brother. Yeah, gangrene on his he dick. Yeah, the gangrene. <laughs> the gangrene weenie. Bro, what? Oh, 100 grand? Fuck no. y'all, dude. 100 grand? 100 grand is not enough. Y'all say all this shit till they stack you said, their fucking money. Bro, I would you. throw up. He said a whole cup of dog oh, okay, pee. Okay, shit. We do shotguns all the time. I just had to shotgun that bitch. Yuck. <laughs> Just subconsciously I, knowing that it came from a dog. I, I guess <laughs> I guess me and my niece are going somewhere then. Where are y'all going? On vacation with the rest of the girls. Why, Why you got that go dog somewhere? pee breath on you? Like I brush my teeth, not a big deal. <laughs> no, it's not gonna go away. It just sticks on you for like three days. Uh, and your head, yeah, okay, whatever. Wait, wait, wait. Still you gonna be in fucking Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, your breath smells like piss. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be like, how could you smell all the way from Hawaii? Damn, yeah, y'all got some good noses. Hey, when they holler back at you, about to go surfing. <laughs> be like, I hope you don't drown. Catch a cramp from all that piss you drink. I won't, bro. It's got plenty of salt. I'm good. <laughs> you can be dehydrated. <laughs> but there's a twist on it. If oh, puke, here we go. What's up? If you puke, you lose the money. Okay. You think you could drink a cup of piss and not puke? Hundred grand? You can't bro, even you can't even talk about eating shit on a podcast. <laughs> uh, shit's different, bro. Shit is way different. <laughs> I mean, shit's way different. People think- can live off of drinking their own piss in, in yeah. a dire situation. You could live on eating your bone. Did bolt? you know it said that seventy two percent of all shopping carts have poop on the handle? That shit, How bro. When I heard does poop get when, on the when handle? I heard that fact, nigga, I was like, never touching. I'm, yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm wearing gloves to the it. fucking shit, bro. Like, I don't even want to put groceries in this motherfucker anymore. I'm gonna bring a whole Lysol, like, push it on, push it on your forearm and stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my own basket. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Order one on eBay and shit. <laughs> You gotta buy some special gloves or like just only pushing buggies, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right in with a sharpie, like buggies only. We're like, why does everybody got shit on their hands though? <laughs> why are you motherfuckers not fucking washing your hands, bro? Why? So if you think about it, you scratching your buggy. butthole like raw oh, raw fingers, brother. You got fucking shit, dookie shit up on your fucking nails. And shit. Yeah, and they touch kind of the a crazy handle. Crazy question. Yeah, like how do you get shit on a grocery cart handle? Don't you wash your hands after you shit? Real, bro. Like you dry booty hole scratching your booty hole. Then you like finger <laughs> straight finger to asshole. Like, well, some they just, like, some through their toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> some buggies are some buggies are outside. But you don't so. wash your hands after that shit. <laughs> some buggies are outside, so anybody can do whatever to the buggy. You know? Yeah, just hobos hanging out, fucking, having a fucking wiping their butt on the handle, <laughs> doing jackass uh-huh. shit, in doing the buggies. debit or credit on the uh, buggy handle. <laughs> <laughs> Debit or credit? (laughs) Slide it. (laughs) Oh, can I add? uh, uh, Okay, it was an Andrew Tate question. Can I ask it? Yeah, go ahead. It's a scenario, right? You and your girl, only you and your girl are in your room, and somebody breaks into your house. Who's going out there? Who's going Me. out there first? Me. The bullet. You? <laughs> yeah. I'm but I'm getting my gun first. Yeah. But like okay, so why I brought that up is because I was watching a video with uh it was on Aiden Ross's stream. He brought Andrew Tate and he was supposed to debate with a top uh Twitch streamer. Like, as of right now, he's a top uh, viewed Twitch streamer. And basically, he been di- uh, basically he doesn't agree with oh Andrew Tate on his um, Get it points out. of views. I am. Chill out. Anyway, so he doesn't agree with some, some of his points. And that was one of them. One of them was, like, uh, talking about women. And then it brought up to this scenario, which he was like, uh, 
No, I would let my woman go out there first because, or no, no, no. He didn't say he would bring his woman out. He said he would run. He would, he said he would bring up this elaborate uh, plan of how to escape. And, to? But how can you it. think in the heat of the moment? Somebody breaks in and you're like, all right, let me figure out this whole plan while he's still in my cell. No, he's going to go straight to your room or he's going to take stuff from your living room and then eventually go to your room. But it's going to happen like this. You're not going to have like 30 minutes to your uh, self thinking about, man. So, so dummy boy, what you doing? You going to wait on, you going to wait on your dad? Or are you going to go out there and try to save the day? No, I'm saying it has to be you and a woman. It can't be nobody else in, in your house. situation. Cause your woman's right here. Are you going to run out there before your dad if you was awake? Are you just going to text your dad and be like, hey, uh, I think somebody's at the bar? Well, I don't think he would allow me to go in front of him first. So I would be behind him. But he's asleep. But he's asleep. Well, then I would go out. Okay. Bro, somebody broke in. like, And then everyone's at risk? You're at risk because you're going down there. But somebody got to do something. He ain't leaving his room. <laughs> this Bro, stop it. Stop it. If somebody actually... He, he don't even know when Jerry leaves the house. Like, hey, he, hey, he be... <laughs> what was that? No, oh, that I was would actually nothing. get out of my room and... That was probably... I would probably, probably, gonna grab I'll, his probably stick. I'll probably bang on their door, like... Or not bang on the door, because that's kind of stupid, but open the door, try to wake them up, and then we that's go That's actually down more there. stupid, because you don't know what you might walk into. You might I mean, see some shit you can never unsee again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so somebody, oh, yeah. somebody breaks in and they're still doing that. Yeah, and your dad runs down the stairs butt naked. I'm Are you busy. behind him still? I'm busy, bitch. <laughs> you just you taking that question way too far. What are you talking about? I'm busy, bitch. <laughs> Tell it the burglar simple, to come back later. It was later. a simple man, woman in a room, and you know. But he was saying like. Yeah, he had all this time to think about how he was going to escape. So that dude, what's his name? XQC. No. Andrew, Andrew Tate. Tate. Yeah, what did he say? Is he going out he there said, or his yeah, He said he was going to be the first one to come out and try to handle okay. it. But okay. the guy uh, the guy was arguing like uh, the gun situation. So he was like, all right, so then y'all have a gun. Who's going out there? And then he uh, XQC was like... Uh, well, if my woman was a, a professional gun person and she knew how to work a gun better than me, then I would send her out like, Mm-mm. you're still going to send her out first? No. All right, $100,000. Yeah. $100, Ready? $100,000. Right. Would you eat a raw cow's asshole? No. 100000 Just No. Just a raw cow's Behold, like the skin just cut out. Like, wait, wait. Like oh, you mean ring? like it's like this? Like big. you cut it out like an onion ring. Yeah, yeah, like a, like a skin <laughs> onion ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely try. It. I mean, if, as long as I didn't die from it, yeah, I would try it. Hundred grand, just like, yeah, I would do that. <laughs> Bro, I used to watch Fear Factor and go, I would do that. I would yeah. do that. I would do that. I would do that. I would do that. I was super puke. <laughs> I, when it came down to Fear Factor, watching that show, I was like, "There's nothing on that show I wouldn't do." Except I would for like getting in the fucking the tank with the snakes, yeah, in yeah, the fucking spiders yeah. and shit. No, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Oh my god, I'm tapping out. Fuck out of here, Joe Rogan. <laughs> I don't know if I'd tap out, but I might pass out. It'd be like Joe Rogan, I'm not getting. So in wait, there, can, can you? Can you? I'm not even Joe Rogan. <laughs> it's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of ludicrous, did you know that there's a fucking dude? There's an actual fucking Chin Diesel. He's from <laughs> he's from Thailand, bro, or some shit like that. And he lives. He's a, like a fucking Vin Diesel lookalike, and he fucking takes pictures and shit. He drives around fucking in a in a, like an old school fucking whip. Like he lives the Fast and the Furious life, bro. Like he's Chin That's Diesel. Funny. If you want to see them, then, 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 then,
Emo <laughs> fucked it up. I was trying to end it on that shit. He wanted to ask a fucking weird ass question. I asked <laughs> if I could ask it, and then you said yes. I thought it was gonna be a yes. cool question because we were saying funny shit, and then you just brought up some random bullshit. But little do we know, <laughs> Mimo's gonna bust in your room. Yeah, Mimo, know what y'all are doing? First. Mimo's fucking. And Mimo's a Terminator on the low. <laughs> I'll Call be me back. a bot. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> It's just like that. And we out. And that's been another episode <laughs> of the motherfucking Porter Potty Podcast. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. We'll see y'all next week. Flush it, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All that. Do it up. Follow us on social media, baby. <laughs> <laughs>